This is called the triple beam balance because there is one, two, three beams. We're going to use this balance to measure the mass of a hole puncher today. So to begin, we're going to place the hole puncher onto the plate. Our goal is to get this to be exactly in line with the zero in order to find the mass. So to begin, we move the smallest one, weight, which can be anywhere along this scale all the way to the end, and nothing happens. That means I'm going to move it back. Now we're going to try the medium one. Both the medium and the big one must be exactly on the number. So for example, the medium has to be on 10, 20, 30, or 40. It can't be anything in between. The same with the big one. You can either be on zero or 100 or 200. It can't be in between it because there's no number there. All right, so we're going to move the medium one. Nothing is happening. At the end, nothing is happening either. So go back from that. And now we'll do the biggest one. So 100, 200, 300, 400. Okay, so at 400, it goes down, which means it's too much because we want it to be exactly at zero. So we're going to go 100 back. Now we'll go back to the medium one. Moving it 70, 80, 90. All right, so at 90, it goes down. Yeah, it's too much at 90. So we we'll go back to 80. And now we move the smallest one until we can get it exactly to zero. All right, so right around nine, it is pretty much exactly a zero. So to find the mass of this stapler or hole puncher, we need to add these three weights all together. So this one, the biggest one's at 300, medium one's at 80, and the smallest one's around nine. So the mass of this stapler is 300 plus 80 plus nine, which is 389. G here stands for grams. So it is 389 grams is this hole puncher. Okay, and that is how we use the triple beam balance.